Can I hear another rumble? Hey guys, welcome back. Today, uh, I'm gonna have two installs. My two installs that I'm currently talking about are right here with me. Highway pegs, highway pegs, beautiful highway pegs. Simple, minimalistic. And I think they're really nice. So I'm gonna add them to my uh, crash bar, to the mustache crash bar. And then I'm gonna do something completely cosmetic for looks only. And I got that idea. You know, one of my buddies in the doll showed me it and I really fell in love with it. This, the Harley badge, I bought it on eBay. By the way, I bought a couple, I bought two. I'm gonna only be using one, so if you want uh, the other one, just let me know, go to my website. Go to my website right here. And on the contact page, just let me know. Uh, just write to, write to me and uh, I'll send it out to you. So let's uh, get, I uh, had an idea where to put this. Usually this goes on right here on the fuel tank but I like the way the fuel tank looks right now. I'll be insta installing it somewhere else, but let's start with the highway pegs. So let me tell you as a content creator, how I usually run my stuff. When I want to do an upgrade or uh, any item that, I'm, that I like or need to add or want to add, what I usually do is I make a lot, I do a lot of research behind it, check out YouTube videos and see if it's good enough, if it's good and then I decide to go ahead and get it for my bike. But before I go ahead and uh, just uh, purchase it, I reach out to the company and uh, ask them, you know, maybe they want to work together so I can get their item for a discount or for free. And in return, I do, uh, you know, the video. Uh, and I try to, obviously I try to be, I try to stay, um, you know, uh, sincere and honest uh, uh, all the time. If it's, an, if it's an item that I don't like and it was performed and it was really poor, uh, during installation, then I just I don't don't install it and I don't do any video and I just let them know listen It's not good and I don't want to you know, I don't want to put out a terrible uh, Review, I'm just good, not gonna talk about it. That's all so some items. I just uh, You know the price and the hassle of going through emails back and forth with the company is just not worth it This is one of them and this is actually a very good item but it was it was like 150 170 dollars and i didn't want to go through the emails back and forth so i just bought it and besides i've seen it already and i know it's good so this is the lindy i mean sorry lindby custom ink and they lindby sell uh crash guards engine guards which are really good and they also send sell separately highway picks that are really nice let me show you i already opened it before by lindby custom ink what's nice about it let me show you nice about this engine guard first of all it's all aluminum it's very light and once it's installed installed only in one certain direction and it's just open sideways and that's it and it's covered with rubber rubber uh you know grip gripping points where you get a lot of friction so your leg doesn't slide uh, off of it So let's install it. They have very specific instructions on how to torque, torque these down. It's very sensitive because it's all aluminum, so they don't want you to strip it. So they literally uh, show, you know, the order one, two, three, four, like we always do. And they specify how, uh, what's the max torque to use. And they literally tell you no warranty replacement if you strip the threads. I guess it's, that's, how sensitive uh, the threads are on this aluminum. So I'll be installing them right here, right here, all the way as low as it would go. So when they open up, they'll be somewhere over here. And of course, obviously on the other side. This aluminum part's supposed to go on the engine guard, just metal to metal, but I'm somewhat old school. I, I, don't, just, I don't want to mar it and scar it and, and scratch the, you know, the metal, so I, I don't know. I like always like to put some kind of tape or some kind of electrical tape, just, you know, I don't know, what can I tell you? Some people tell you, no, 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 it has to be metal to metal, so it gets the cold fusion and it gets the max friction and that's how it doesn't move, but that's how I do it.
I want these uh, slightly bent uh, back, slightly back. Now according, according to their diagram, five over 13, walk around uh, and then we'll try to you know operate them on the bike itself. You know what? They're actually a little, a little bit too far out for me. I think I'll have to do them internally. I'll have to flip them over to here to be inside. It's too far out for me. They're too far out for my short legs. I think I'll need to swap them over to my side. Yeah, they're too far out. Well, let's do it again. I'm gonna flip them around. Put this side over there, that side over here. I'm not gonna bore you with the details. I'll show you after I'm done. in an angle so you got a little angle for my foot over there the only negative thing I can say for now about them is the finish look over here why would you why would you put a chrome bolt just every, all the rest of the bolts are all black and that's that's jumping to my face everything is blacked out beautifully except for that bolt come on Lindby I'll take care of it but you should have done it and here there's a slight uh, chip inside the bolt itself i'll take care of that with uh some uh some paint touch of paint otherwise it looks really good now let's uh, try it out hopefully it's uh closer i mean it is closer to me but now it's really good now this 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 even i can put that's really good a lot of options let me show you in a second Every possible uh, angle and uh, position for my legs covered. Okay, that's it, simple. Harley logo emblem. I'll show you where it goes. So again, thanks to Nadal. Nadal gave, gave me this idea and I appreciate it, man. Where did I put this? There it is. I got this on eBay, as I said. I don't think it's like $50 a piece. Overpriced, but somebody, I think. Anyway, this. I'll be putting right here. How about that? So let me take it out the back and prep this area and then glue it on. It comes with uh, 3M tape in the back. Right here. Obviously when I have the tour pack, and tour pack on, it won't be seen, but. It's got a slight curve to it anyway. So it should fit uh, Close enough, let's put it that way. Wow. 
hope I got it straight. That looks pretty good. That was simple, simple cosmetic improvement, I think. What do you guys say? Let me know down in the comments. I have one more of these left. I'm not using, if you want it, shoot me an email on my website again. Uh, first meet she's running she's doing cross country she's a sophomore college sophomore college high school sophomore and she runs for varsity already she's very good very good anyway i was running very low on battery and i took my uh my chart like my power power supply over here it's called i e safi i e safi were kind enough to send it out Anyway, they just went by, so came to see her first meet. Uh, last year, she was really, really good, and she ran a few races with the varsity, but now she's full-time varsity. Let me show you this power pack that IE Safe Safi sent out to me. I'd like to thank them. I'll have a link down by the description. It's like this is a huge, huge power bank. Look how big it is. Look how big it is. Uh, and what's nice about it, it has... I didn't quite figure it out yet. There had there has a flashlight over here with like three different uh, intensities, like low, medium, and high. And then it also flashes at night uh, SOS code. What's really nice about it, like I use this on my bike, on my uh, adventure bike where I don't have a plug yet. So I just take this in one of my bags and I take it out whenever I need. But what's nice about it, and I took it uh, once already with my family when I went to the beach, is this pretty much never runs uh, out of power because look at this it's got solar panels on it so you you just open it up okay i don't uh, the truth is i never tested how how fast it, te it charges but it does charge and you can see now you see the blue the blue lights flickering i'll try to show you later I don't know if you can see. Well, it's showing that it's charging right now. Like it's charging itself through the sun, through solar power, and it's charging my phone with this cable. It's got two USB outlets, and it's got also this, uh, I think it's called a micro, S micro USB to charge the pack itself if you don't want to use only solar power. So I think it's, I'm not sure, but I think it's like 10,000 milliamps amp hours like crazy crazy uh so um I'll, I'll put a link down by the description where you can pick it up so up till now it's doing its thing charging it's nicely built by the way uh this is not leather but it's some kind of plastic or tpu and it's got a little velcro over here so it's pretty bulky it's big very strong and it's got a water protective uh, little sleeve over here See, now you can see it's not in direct light. It's not in direct sunlight. And it's still picking up a charge. You can see the blue blue LEDs showing the charge that it's charging. And also the green light is charging my phone. Here they come for the first lap. And now I place it in direct sunlight. I know this uh, review is not so, you know, uh, uh, let's put it that way, so typical for me with all the exact fine details of all the specs. Of this things all i can say is that it's charging really fast i think i think it's uh considered a fast charger i'm not sure don't but it's really heating up the phone's heating up and look it's got four panels that are really giving it a nice boost there they come yofi 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 routine
Yeah, she did well, very well. Personal best, I think. Yeah. And that's what you, you, you compete against yourself. You always improve yourself, that's all. Somebody's murdering that song over there. I'm at Ridgewood, a town not far from where I live, and they have this uh, car show in the evening. Really, really cool cars. Take a look at them. A lot of, a lot of American cars, European cars, old, old cars. <laughs> Love that license plate. Anybody interested? 2002 Boxster S. This brings back memories. I had a 99 Boxster. I love that car. I was at a 358, 356. That's the moon. Somebody's murdering that song over there. Can I hear a rumble? What's that? Can I hear another rumble? Corvettes, a lot of Ford Mustangs.
Camaros, muscle cars. Uh, personally, I'm not, I don't love those cars. They're nice. The only thing is there's so many of them, so many. They're not unique. They're not special. They're not rare. That's my thing. I like to see cars that aren't, don't have too many of them, you know, really special. That's it, the bike. That's it, Grey Ghost is parked after those two installs parked right near uh, my tour pack, which uh, is being raffled out. Well, not that not that specific one, but Advan Black is going to be sending out a tour pack to the winner of my raffle. You know the website, just go buy anything and you are in the raffle. It's going to be in a month from now. Hope you enjoyed these three topics, these two installs, the Lindby. A uh, highway pegs, the Harley emblem in the back, and that uh, car show. Hope you enjoyed this guy. I'm Sandy watching Holy Shift till the next video, guys. Peace out. Bye. So that's it, Lindby. You get a spot right here in my toolbox with all the rest of the things.